Hello guys and welcome back to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about auto boxing and unboxing in Java. So if you remember in the very first sessions I talked about the primitive data types and then later on we talked about the objects. For example we had the int data type but there later we also saw an integer data type which is which can also pretty much do the exact same work which int data type was doing and we saw the similar kind of uh, experience for the float data type and the float class double data type and the double class char data type and the character class and so on and so forth so java provides an easy way to convert a int data type variable into an integer data type variable and also back from integer data type variable to an int primitive data type variable now you might be wondering why we need that there would be scenarios for example if you had an int array as in primitive int array and if you want to store that into a collection now collection can only be of type of objects it cannot be a type of primitive data type so you might need to convert this int primitive data type array into an integer object collection so you need to do this conversion of int data type to integer data type and there would be cases where you might to you might need to do vice versa so that's the basic idea about auto boxing and unboxing so when we talk about the definition you can see auto boxing is the automatic conversion that the java compiler makes between the primitive and their corresponding object wrapper classes so whenever you are converting a primitive data type to an object class this is called auto boxing and when you do the reverse it is called auto unboxing or simply unboxing so let's understand this with the help of an example now so i am just going to open an example about auto boxing and unboxing so that we can have a look at it and here it is i've created a class which is called auto boxing demo it has a public static void main method and inside the method i'm first simply declaring an int data type variable i with the value 10 then if i need to auto box this if i need to convert this primitive value into an integer object wrapper class or an integer class type then i need to write the code like this which says integer dot value of and then you can supply the primitive data type value and the output of it will be of type integer class so you get an integer object and then you can print the object to check if it is successfully doing the auto boxing or not similarly doing the other way around once i have converted this into an integer object let's convert this back to a primitive data type so from integer object i'm converting this back into the primitive data type and you see here it's a simple assignment i just have to assign the object to the primitive data type and that's it i can do the same for a character a uh, object and a char data type so first i create a character object char obj and then if i have to unbox it i can simply assign this char obj to a char primitive data type ch and that would be it so you can do the similar drill for any other primitive to object wrapper conversion let's say you want to convert a float data type to a float class or you want to convert a double data type to a double class then whichever primitive data type has an object wrapper class you can do the auto boxing and auto unboxing like this remember whenever you have to do auto box it means you are going from primitive to object and for that you need to call the value of method for example if you were converting a double primitive to a double object class double object type basically then you are going to call double dot value of and similarly the same kind of uh, behavior will be seen for other object wrapper classes as well so for auto boxing you call the value of and for auto unboxing you literally just assign this to an primitive and the object wrapper class value will automatically be assigned to the primitive data type so let's run this now and observe the output so i had the int i equal to 10 then i wanted to convert this primitive into the object wrapper and the way i can do that is by calling the value of method and supplying the primitive data types value so that's why i'm doing it. that's what i'm doing here and this i obj should get the 10 value now which i can see if i print the sys out and if i just print the integer object all together i get the value 10 so this concludes that i've successfully am able to un uh, auto box the primitive into an integer object now looking at auto unbox like i said you simply can assign the object wrapper to the primitive data type variable and that should work as is 
and that's why at line 15 we get this output which says value of i1 is 10. similarly when we try to auto box the character object so i have created a character object here and then i want to unbox this back into a simple char data type ch so when i print ch i get the same value and when i print the char obj i again get the same value remember the reason i've put this as auto box is because this by default is being stored into a char data type i can also write it like this for example i can say char x equal to a and then i can refer here as character dot value of x this will pretty much have the same impact or the same effect which i had just now it, it is going to print the exact same output if i rerun this program i'm going to get the exact same output so this this basically concludes our understanding that you can use the auto boxing and auto unboxing pretty easily whenever you have a scenario where you want to convert the primitive data types to the object wrapper classes or you want to convert the object wrapper classes back to the primitive data types and that's all i'm going to cover in this particular session and in the next session we are going to talk about io streams in java if you like this video a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and please don't forget to subscribe to simply code for more programming related videos thank you and we'll meet again in the next session